Hi, my name is Sean Rafua of SF Mixology, and today we're going to go over some shaking methodology. First, let's introduce you to some of the standard professional tools of a bartender. This one, as many of you may know, is called a shaker tin or a tin or just a shaker. This is a 28 ounce shaker. This one is an 18 ounce shaker, and this is a mixing glass. Now this is a jigger, and jiggering is measuring what's coming out. Uh, a lot of bars uh, don't use jiggers. I'm a big fan of jiggers, but if a bar doesn't use jiggers, then they're probably not going to be using this at all. They're probably just going to use this because when you free pour, uh, you need to be able to help yourself guess what's coming out by using a see-through glass. Uh, if a bar is a uh, jigger bar, they're probably going to be using this uh, tin. It's called an 18 ounce, or sometimes called a cheater tin. Now they're popping up all over the place. And the reason why is because they are safer than the glass. And it actually, and I didn't believe this at first, but it gets the drink colder and a little more voluminous. So you're going to get actually a little bit more drink, uh, probably about 20% more, probably because this conducts better, changes the equilibrium point of the alcohol ice combo. In any case, uh, we are going to go ahead and use this so you can see what's going on. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mix your cocktail. And you want to make sure you mix your cocktail without any ice. This drink, while you're getting it together, while you're finishing mixing it, is uh, a different drink every second sitting with the ice. Uh, without ice in it, it's the same drink two hours later, and it's a more consistent drink if you always uh, shake a half second after you add the ice. So what we're going to do, now that we have our drink, is we're going to add uh, the ice. And then you take your tin, and you put your tin on the glass or on the 8 ounce shaker, the cheater tin. Uh, we're going to be using a glass again. So now you don't pick it up yet, no. First what you got to do is you got to give it a little bit of a tap on top because it's got to be connected. And now you're not going to pick it up and shake it with this opening out in front because you're going to be sprinkling your guests across the kitchen or as bartenders we might see customers going is the bartender spitting on you too? So you need to flip it so that the tin is out in front. So the next few bars you go to, watch how the bartender flips this thing because you're going to see all, all, all kinds of shenanigans from something very emphatic maybe or maybe something a little more uh, subtle like the dive bar. I tip it with my other hand. Got to make sure you're not looking at it. Uh, the club version, my other hand might be busy. I tip it with the same hand. That doesn't look cool enough, so I bounce it up afterwards. Well, you know, I pick it up from the tin side. I pick it up from the glass side. I spin it with two hands. No, I spin it with one hand. But I have a very, very easy way to flip this thing, um, you know, until you get better. And that is the first thing you do is you stick your hand up in the air like you just don't care. And you come around the other side of the shaker, two fingers on the metal, two fingers on the glass, and then, hi and it's flipped. All right, and then you can start shaking maybe with two hands, maybe with one hand. Uh, but in any case, after you're done shaking, you need to break it apart. You can bring it into your hand or you can bring your hand into the shaker tin and you just break it apart. Some bartenders, they, they elbow it because that's just so cool. But what I don't want anyone to do, uh, please, it just doesn't work well, is spank your shaker. Okay, so there's no spanking of the, uh, the shaker set, please, uh, uh, sorry. And then when you're done, you take your Hawthorne strainer, uh, strainer, and you put it on the tin, and then you just hold it with one hand. And this uh, raised notch right here, put your index finger behind it, because then you can adjust the spring um, against the uh, variable sizes that uh, the opening of tins come in. And then what you do, is get your glass, strain, and maybe a garnish. And you're done. Yeah. That concludes today's Mixology Shorts. Uh, please join us again soon for another short of Mixology Shorts coming up shortly. <laughs>